Hi students, I am Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing an example for a UML deployment diagram. We are discussing the UML deployment diagram for online shopping system. So dear students, as we mentioned in the previous lecture, a UML deployment diagram is a type of behavioral diagram where it shows the execution architecture of a system and includes nodes such as hardware, or software execution environment and the middleware connecting between them. The deployment diagrams are typically used to visualize the physical hardware and software of a system and using it we can understand how the system will be physically deployed on a hardware. So the major symbols or notations used in this deployment diagram is as follows. Firstly we have to represent a node and node is represented as a cube and it is a physical entity that executes one or more components, subsystems or executables and a node could be hardware or software elements. So all these particular similar elements are packed towards into a node and it is represented with the help of a cube. Second one is this artifact and artifacts are concrete elements that is caused by the development processes. So this artifacts includes libraries, archives, configuration file, executable file, databases like that. Third one is association which is represented with the help of a solid line between two nodes and it shows the path of communication between the nodes and these are the major symbols associated with a particular deployment diagram and the general symbols also includes a circle which is used to represent the interface and we can represent components with the help of the component symbol that is a rectangle with a tab. So now we are going to discuss about our example. So let us consider our online shopping example. For example, if we are considering the customer PC node. So here we are considering a node as a hardware. The customer computer is considering as a hardware. So this hardware customer PC is represented with the help of a node symbol. That's why we are representing the node as a cube with the name customer PC. So next we are going to discuss about the online shopping server. So online shopping server is also an external node which is a server where the online shopping website may be hosted. So now we are going to discuss about the internal components of these particular nodes. In the customer PC node, we can see a component known as browser. So this browser is a software component and we are representing this browser with the help of a component symbol. So component symbols are rectangles with the tabs. So browser is an internal software component of the customer PC node. And in the case of online shopping server, we can see a component known as shopping app or shopping website. So it is hosted in a particular server. So these are the two different components associated with this particular online shopping activity. So there exists a relation. So there exists an interface. So this interface is represented with the help of a circle. So here the online shopping server is providing the interface. That is why we are representing the circle in the side of the component of online shopping server. And the customer PC is relating or associating or creating a communication between this particular online shopping server. So that's why there exists an association which is represented with the help of a dotted arrow. So now the relation or the interface between these two is the login relationship. So next we are discussing the user database which is an artifact. Thus, this user database artifact is in the side of online shopping server and is represented with the help of an artifact symbol. The shopping app or shopping website is related to this artifact named user database. Once the user is giving his login credentials, these particular login credentials are verified with corresponding to the user database artifact. So when it comes to the bank server, the bank server is also an external node where the online payment systems of the customer is being related. 
the bank server is communicating with the online shopping server or the online shopping server is communicating with the bank server when the user gives the payment details and the bank server has banking app or banking website or this payment app or payment website these payment websites are different components of that particular bank server and there is a relationship between the customer pc and the bank server the relationship is the customer should log in or enter into this particular website or web app so as to ensure the different transactions so when it comes to the banking server or banking app there is also a customer database artifact where all the customers transaction details login passwords his uh, credit and debit transactions or, or the current balance of his account is being saved so in the case of this customer pc the customer pc may have files cookies or history artifacts where the online details are being saved and it is an artifact in the side of the customer pc in a deployment diagram a deployment diagram basically focuses upon the hardware as well as the software components associated with a particular process so in an online shopping environment it is known that a online shopping website will be there a banking website will be there and there is a customer pc or customer phone or customer laptop in which we are operating all these activities so my dear students this is how we are representing the deployment diagram for online shopping so as we mentioned a deployment diagram is used to visualize the physical hardware and software of a system so many students hope you had understood this topic so dear students kindly go through this assignment question the assignment question is draw the uml deployment diagram for the online banking system so many students see you soon in the upcoming lecture we are discussing some uml tools associated with developing these diagrams so many students see you soon until then goodbye thank you and all the best